once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. I'm so glad Daniel took this little girl with us. You could try and lift mushroom? Are you kidding? I don't want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> okay. Let's show Daniel some more stuff to play with before we call it a day. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. How about that one? I can do it with the small rods, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just relax. Focus. I'll try.
Whoa! Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever. Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Aw, that sucked. How about one more? <laughs> Ready? Yes! Look! Look what I can do, Sean! I knew that you could. I've taught you well. But you, you're a master student. <coughs> hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. What? What did you find, Shroom? We really nailed it with this two-headed snow ogre. Yeah, they're really badass. And Musher isn't even afraid of them anymore. Right, puppy? Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Uh, Sean? The family that lived here... What do you think happened to them? They must have moved out. Maybe to another state. But they left. How old are these here? kids today? I don't know, man. Maybe they live in Florida and only come here every ten years. Maybe they got tired of these woods. Well, I'm glad they left. This is our lair now. I just. Cold. Don't worry. We'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cuff doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? 
Mm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh... I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, it's my fault. I shouldn't have let you alone outside. But... I didn't help. I didn't do anything. Because... you couldn't. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. She must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us. Lighter. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. Ooh. The space scuba is hovering on a dead plant. Tanya must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but... Helps staying warm. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Hey, I put some clean water in the bathroom so you can wash a little. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. This room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and... Keep it closed. Time to get warm. Of course. He's the town fucking hero now.
How can I feel bad for him? Of course. He's the town fucking hero now. How can I feel bad for him? <sighs> no excuse not to binge read. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. Dead for a week. But at least we got some news. I'm used to Ink, so... This will be different. Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. <gasps> Dang, I am starving. Guess it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much it hurts, Sean. I know, Daniel. It's okay to think about him. <laughs> I do it too. Okay. Tough choice. Thanks, Sean. How you doing, Mushroom? You're the best puppy in the world. I'm just glad we found you. Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? Okay, okay. <sighs> Never eating this again. Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well, that'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. I'm so tired of eating the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. These were all I found when I hit the town last week. Shoot. Poor doggy's out of water. Totally looks like Mushroom. Mushroom clung to Daniel on the first nights. But now she loves her bed by the fire. High school feels so far away now. Daniel needs a doggo friend.
can't believe Taniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. It feels weird to loot other people's clothes, but we need the warmth. Ready for today's training, puppy? <laughs> sit. Shroom, sit. Seriously, girl. Sit. Mushroom, sit, girl. <gasps> Are you kidding me? You just don't know how to talk to her. <sighs> I'll remember this, traitor. Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready. Sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, Mushroom? <laughs> bon Appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? Oh, this map. It's in my tent. Sorry, Sean. Okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl. Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom. Come here, girl. <sighs> what a great team. <laughs> hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Time to play dad talk. No way I'm touching that. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. 
Daniel loves his brand new tablet. Sean, there's someone at the door. What the? When did he show up? I don't know. I just saw him now. Sean, I'm scared. Don't worry, Inano. It's, it's probably just someone lost. Can we help you? Hello? What do you want? Mother f Daniel? <laughs> Got you! <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good job. You almost shit your pants. Of course I did, man. Anyway. Okay, I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No, I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. <sighs> Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they... Don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... For what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm. We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Oh, shit. No crew. Got a ship now. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain. Can I get a four, please? Yes, full ship. High score. Better than nothing. How are you gonna beat that? <laughs> Good luck beating that, matey. Don't worry about that. All right, your turn. Got a ship now. I 
need a captain? Come on. This game sucks. Don't give up. Phew. It was a close one. Okay, let me throw now. Okay, got a ship. It's better than nothing. I need a five. Just give me a five. I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? You mean, we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. What? Come on. Sit, please. Sit. Got a ship now. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. <laughs> Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick. And I win. Do you know what it means? Yeah, okay. You want it. Here's my bag. Mmm, let's see. Here, what do you think? <laughs> Is that mushroom? Yes! I know I'm not as good as you, but... Nah, it's... it's really cool, dude. Thanks. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee! Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. Smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. <sighs> okay, no more swearing. Sure. Like you're always polite. <sighs> Come on. Chill out. What did you pack in? What the f- Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. <sighs> awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still... Peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Once you get used to squatting, it's not so bad. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? <sighs> what Dude! What are you doing? It's not good.
Daniel? Oh shit. Daniel! Do not move. You killed her! She was my friend! Calm down, okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Strength. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's all right. I'm right here. Here, you should do it. Is that it? Well, unless you want to say something. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember running through the snow with you and how you, you snuggled. And I'll never forget you. Never. Rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven? With Dad? <sighs> yeah. I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Inanna. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Sean. I'm sorry I killed the cat. I don't know what I was thinking. If only I could. I know. Come on, buddy.
wish we didn't have to go. I like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? They'll protect the next runaways to stay here. Bye, Lord Snowman. You look after our mushroom. <laughs> so long. We made it, Daniel. 
It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh my... Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? Oh, Stephen. What are we going to do? I... I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should call Gus. Uh, honey, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Do we really want to involve other people? Well, maybe he can help to do something. A, a, a police officer was killed. Claire, you know? Our grandchildren are wanted by the police for murder. I know. What if Sean is guilty? Sleeping in our home. Next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened. Then we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. Oh, Lord. Are you all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station. Now, if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? 
Seriously? You really think I killed that cop? No, don't, don't get mad. Sean, we have to ask. We only know what we saw in the news. All I know is that... he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but... why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand, but... You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Ah, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean. You can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are gonna stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Seriously? That's... really nice, Stephen. Thank you. Okay, but we have to lay down the rules of the house. No mess, no noise are no service. The biggest rule is keep your heads low around here. Beaver Creek is small and nosy and nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, <laughs> you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something. How do you feel, Super Wolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. 
Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord, for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials. Amen. 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 Okay. It's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. Sleep tight, little cub.
I could sleep all day long in this bed. But I'm way too hungry. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Sean! Finally. Sean, are you awake? Breakfast's almost done, so come down when you're ready, okay? Okay! Oh, my. Look who's awake. Oh, we made it. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa's showing me a bald star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. <clears throat> What's on the menu this morning? Well... Someone told me the buttermilk waffles are back. Mmm, mmm, awesome. Are you boys done playing? We had a express delivery with the passengers, but the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> Ah, oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. I miss Seattle, my friends. There's so much more to do in the city. <laughs> There's more crime, more traffic. Nobody can go out anymore. I think there's crime everywhere. I love Seattle, but it's cool here too. Well, it's certainly safer for children. Everybody out here is a neighbor. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. I thought Steven was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma. I wanted to ask you something. About that locked room upstairs. I told you, there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? But we'll be fine. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. 
I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did mom ever contact you? She only talked to dad a few times. Then she was gone. Yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over. Anyway, you have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Hello? I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. Oh, of course I know who this Daniel's is. Daniel's going nuts in here. What a nice surprise. Are you okay? Is everything all right? That is so sweet. I'm so glad to see you playing outside. I hope like we a won't get boy. Claire and Steven anyway, into trouble. I'll be happy to let Steven know his services are required. He loves that treehouse. What bad guys? Who do you mean? I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've, uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, 
I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... We have a home in Puerto Lobos. Dad wanted to return there. Two Mexican boys out on the run? <sighs> that won't be a secret in Beaver Creek for long. America is your home. With us. And you have to think about your brother, you know, his future, all that stuff. It's too dangerous for us to stay here. And for you guys, too. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? You don't know him. You never even tried to. So don't speak for him. Sorry. You're right, Sean. It was complicated with your mother, with Karen. I know. I... Sorry for yelling at you. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? <laughs> Why? No idea. Uh, but you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> Feel free to start tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep a house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know. Boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! Come over here! <laughs> you gotta find me first! <sighs> Jeez. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. See you tonight, buddy. I get that he's sick of all this shit, but why are we playing this game?
あ,あ I get why dad never brought us down here. Where the hell is he hiding? Better not sneak in. They won't like it. Behind you! Yeah, very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. All right. Let's get it over with. <sighs> All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks. How many programs does this thing have? Okay, it will do. Boring laundry, done. Time for fresh air. Come on, man. I <laughs> put all your toys in the trash, dude. What? Ripley? <laughs> of course not. But next time you bail on me, maybe I will. Sorry. <sighs> it's been locked ever since we got here. I kind of don't give a fuck. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. They have so many pills and stuff to take. Sucks to be old. <sighs> Fuck. 
I broke this thing like 10 years ago. I can't believe they fixed it and kept it. We spent the whole- Careful! Sean! Oh, shit! Got you! Seriously, man! <laughs> Chicken. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. <laughs> okay. Time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> Yes! Oh, man, finally! It feels so good to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Oh! What did Claire say? Who cares about the old fashion? Whoa. Looks pretty awesome. Lucky kid. This place is actually kind of nice. Wonder what it's like in the summer. Check it out! Cool. Whoa. Looks awesome. Lucky kid. Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. Of course. Sean, look! Did you see that? Yeah. Uh, we did. Um, it looks like you're okay, though. You were almost floating. I, I was... I was! I could feel myself in the air. It, it was awesome! That t-shirt is wicked. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, power Bear! bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! I have the Mega Power Bear! You should check it out! Dude, that's so cool! Chris, oh god. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Are, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah, gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. They're our grandparents. Uh, I see. Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I, uh... Yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh, if Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Is it... really? Uh, never mind. 
See you around. Sure. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... <sighs> you did the right thing. <sighs> but listen... We can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low profile out here. He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kitten never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, looks like I'm home alone. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. These articles are almost a month old. Maybe they stopped looking for us? What the hell is this? I had no idea Steven could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, wherever that is, you'll be much, much welcome. Well, this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech.
Wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. <sighs> Never seen her this salty. I should really call Lila to check on her. Jeez. Steven went search crazy on us. Look at this. Just a quick call can't hurt us. I need to know if Lila's okay. Yes? Lila? Hey. It's Sean. Holy shit. No way. How are you? Wow. You know, been better. I mean, you literally hung up on me. Sean, it's been weeks. How could you cut me off like that? Lila, I'm so sorry. We had to hide out for a while. Plus, I ditched my phone. Never heard of pay phones? I had to lie to the police for you, for fuck's sake. They grilled me for hours after your last call. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I don't want you to get into any more trouble because of me. I better go. No! Please. Don't. Do not hang up on me. Not this time, dude. Talk to me. Please. How are you? How's Daniel? We're all good, Lila. Better than we've been for ages. I swear. Okay. Now, where the hell are you? We're in... Oregon. Let's say... We found some help. For now. Really? That's what I wanted to hear. Sean. I kept seeing all these awful things happen to you. I know. I'm sorry. Please tell me about you, about high school, anything, other than this fucking mess. Like, how's Jen? She texted me after, well, she said her parents told her never to contact me again. That figures. I don't hang out with her anymore. She ended up dating Derek. But she's way too cool for him. <laughs> it's not gonna last. Like I give a shit now. What about Lila the Love Witch? Seeing someone? <laughs> no way! I'm way too busy trying not to lose my shit over you and Daniel. <laughs> I've been really worried, Sean. <laughs> I'm on medication. I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, fuck. You're gonna be okay, Layla. So are we. But you have to be strong. We'll see each other again. We just have to... wait until all this blows over. And they forget about us. You promise? It might be a while. I'll try when I can. Thank you for calling, Sean. You literally saved my day. It was so cool to hear your voice, Lila. I... I gotta go look for Daniel now, but... I'm glad I called you. Oh, man. I miss you guys so much. You better take care of yourself. My baby boy. Give him a big hug for me. I will. 
You take care too, okay? Seriously. Love you, Lila. Fuck. I really miss her. Stop thinking about that. Time to go get Daniel. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm too soft with him. Wow. That's a lot of beer. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain! Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but... I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. A superpower. Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a super villain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along, too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations! And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Well, don't worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. You know I haven't done anything fun since I got sick. It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean. I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please. 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 <sighs> okay. You win. Not a fair fight. So let's go. <laughs> yes! Yeah! See? Dangerous. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score. 
The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Interesting. The bad guys, the good guys. Not that easy, right? Look closely. Careful. Okay. How did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer. But he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So, where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. <laughs> well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Well, the flying fortress needs fixing now. Yeah, that sucks. Dad couldn't fix it yesterday. He was not feeling well. He told me he'll do it when we're back from the market. Um, Chris, it's none of my business, but did something happen between you and your dad yesterday? Uh, what do you mean? I don't know, um... Claire seems to be worried about you guys. Yesterday, Steven and her talked about your dad. I think they had a talk with him. Claire is always worried. We're cool. Totally. He's just... He has a hard time being on his own. That's all. Well, I can understand that. But I hope you know you're not alone. Thanks, Sean. But I don't feel scared anymore. I have the power, and I have Daniel. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. 
And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <clears throat> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude! What the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. I know, man. But you can't lie to friends about something like this. He could get in trouble thinking he can make shit fly. Or he could get hurt. So you want me to tell him the truth? Well, I don't want you to lie anymore. You don't have to tell him everything, but don't let him think he has magic powers, okay? You swear? Okay. I swear. Deal. I'm counting on you, Anano. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Many trees. Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. Creepy. You coming, Sean? Don't worry. I'll be around. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree. <laughs> but we never surrendered. Don't worry. I'll be around. Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. Behold, the giant condom machine. Of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. Okay, just pick the one you like. It. Everything all right? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the guy who painted that he must have been seriously high. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. Huh. <laughs> Cuter than gas station bears. <laughs> Reminds me of that lovely rocket Daniel made for me once. Hmm. 
<laughs> um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. The best Christmas research. Claire and Steven definitely have a king for Christmas. Truly special. Bet they like these. Can I get this one? Uh, of course, sweetie. Here. Thanks a lot. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. Is that a yo yo? Daniel had one back home. Betty loved this. I... I know it sucks, but... Daniel deserves it too. Right? Uh... Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Uh, the Reynolds? Everybody knows Stephen. He was Beaver Creek's fire chief years ago. Uh, you're not his grandson, are you? Yes. I am. Oh, that's great. He told me about you, but um, that was a long time ago. It's been a few years, right? Yeah. Family stuff. I bet. Anyway, uh, look around, and if you find anything you want, I'll give you the special Reynolds discount. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Funny how all small towns always sell the same handcrafted crap. I miss Dad's Christmas at all. Ugh. It's weird to have all this food around after a month of ravioli diet. Each of our wreaths is unique. Quiet. Seems price. like Charles is waiting for us. We found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You when we bought your brother something out here. Damn. Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been... Crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Gives us time to rest. Man, 
That sounds wicked. <laughs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> And what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. She looks really cool, I think. See? He knows I'm clean. You're the nasty one. Yeah, you always go for those suburban boys. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Bye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down? <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Ugh. They're pretty.
Seems like Charles is waiting for us. Dad pushed every year to get a plastic tree, but we never surrendered. Sorry, man. I prefer my pine trees alive. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She just wanted some money. Don't we all? You too quick! Ah, anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Do you have some kind of problems? I'm just not the man I was. I shouldn't have even brought this up, you know, just forget it. Claire and Steven seemed a bit worried about you guys. Well, they stopped by yesterday. They really seemed to care about Chris, but I'm afraid they get the wrong idea sometimes. Claire threatens to call social services. That's true. We are not your usual pretty happy suburban family model, but I know things haven't always been good for the Reynolds either. Claire is hard, a little bit of a control freak. I know Claire likes things to go her way, or the highway. Yeah. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, wanna set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? 
Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. So, did you set things straight with him? Told him the truth? Yeah, yeah, I did. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. You won't give up on that, right? It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah, I could do that with a hammer. But let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Yep, it's empty. Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But didn't know Claire had sleep troubles. I guess it kind of makes sense. Yes, Daniel. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. Or he'd freak. <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? Yeah. Not much to see in here. Clothes, old stuff, <sighs> definitely no hidden key. Sean, I saw Grandma go into the room yesterday. It looked like she... Whoa, I'm just looking for a key, not the crown jewels. Ew, are these milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still, no key here. Daniel, you really think you could open this door without doing too much damage? Yes, I know I can. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. Ah, uh, come on, little key. Don't be shy. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Wonder what would have been different if Dad had taken us to church.
Small town hero starter pack. <sighs> Shit. Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. <sighs> that would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Come on. Where is this cardigan? No way she wore it to church. <laughs> this whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. Wow. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? Claire and Steven must have thrown a lot of it away. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. <sighs> yeah. You finally left forever. Coward. These pictures are so... random. <sighs> Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. I miss my skateboard. And going to the park. Never been a big fan of hiking. We can't like to take pictures okay, of strangers Daniel. when we walk down the streets. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. I think I remember that one. Why would they Karen showed it to me once. You... Hey, Daniel. Check this out. His name is Ulysses. Like... A hero? I guess. So cool. Hi, Ulysses. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for Mom? Huh? Let me see- Daniel! Come on. What's it say? Read it! Seriously, stop! Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. 
Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Daniel just wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Just don't blame us for being curious about her. But I know her better than anybody. She hasn't changed. She just feels guilty. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that, going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. What? Then why did we get you something at the Christmas market? You mean you two went out? Well, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't even obey one simple rule. We could go to jail just for helping you. This is how you pay us back? Well, things are just going to change around here if you want to stay. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? <sighs> oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friends from the Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. 
If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. Man, Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was pissed when he saw I had the power. Dude, I told you to let him know. You never listen. You're always telling me what to do. And you do whatever you want. So I thought... Yeah, that's so fun for me. I'm just trying to protect us, okay? I know. Sorry. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful. And listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plant. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. You, you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Merry Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. 
Here. It's all for me? Awesome. Early Christmas is the best. Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. 
They don't. Come on. <laughs> I'll show you around. <laughs> 